Good afternoon. My name is Victoria Buzja. Today I am presenting the plan of the Bank of America pop-up branch on UNCG's campus. This branch will be located on Kaplan, Kaplan's Commons, west facing the EUC on UNCG's campus. This space planning is based on Bank of America's core values of making and creating an inclusive bank experience for today's college students. Allow me to turn your attention to Bank of America's core values, which allows for a better experience explanation of my design decisions. This bank will be known for respecting and valuing each individual client. Through respectful and professional connections, realizing the power of the people, trusting in, the company, trusting in their team, Bank of America will enhance the financial lives of our students. We will focus on assisting our students by finding the best solutions for each client's needs and lifestyles. Moving on the concept of the, to the concept of the design, with this open layout, clients will get the feeling they are walking into a downtown loft apartment. Material selections will include a brick facade, concrete flooring, a metal roof, custom wood furnishings, a vibrant pop of color, and oversized matte black windows. This branch will allow for UNCG community relation building, high touch technology where students will handle everyday banking and develop the skills needed to build the best financial future. My overall inspiration is shown through these pictures. Precedent studies of retail stores and new age technology gave me the inspiration to incorporate elements of functional design qualities found in today's world. As you can see here, high tech LED lighting, very big um, digital screening for access of high touch technology, but still adding in elements of nature and biophilic design and having an open feel of natural light and a sense of an ease in the space. Moving into my space planning, you can see here um, all the diagrams used. I have used bubble diagrams, adjacency diagrams, block diagrams to work out the space of my bank. My overall importance of the space and what I was really focusing on was making a space for advising as well as a seating area a seating area for waiting. The waiting area will flex as a space for educational purposes as you can see that's why the space is so large because you would need space for 10 to 15 people and working through the bubble diagrams and adjacency diagrams I concluded that private space needed to be very close to each other, allowing for noise reduction from the public space. So that was my main goal was to make sure that we had all the space that was needed for the seating, but also having a quiet side of the building for all of the private meetings. Also, access to the ATMs close to the entrance was very big for the 24 hour ATM service. As you can see here, more space planning continued into um, exonometric drawings. These drawings allowed for a realistic feel of the space and gave me a, sco a scope of how um, inclusive the, des the design needed to be. So as you can see here, the, the blocks um, in my furniture exploded diagram you can see that I really worked the space so that a wheelchair would be accessible throughout it. Here I don't have the specifics yet of um, the furniture but this is how I wanted to lay it out to make sure that there was space enough for everybody to move and flow throughout, throughout um, the building without any interruptions or anything like that. So moving into my floor plan here the floor plan, as noted, as you notice, is very inclusive. The wheelchair accessible spaces are as followed as you can see on the plan. And along with separating private and public space as one of my main goals. 
Note all the meeting rooms are on the south facing wall as well as the ADA compliant restrooms. So as you walk in through the entrance of the space here towards the north of the building, you'll walk in, you'll have your ATM experience and you'll be able to walk through and there will be somebody there to greet you at um, this somewhat bar top uh, seating area to the left and they will either direct you to wait for the teller, bring you to the kiosk, so there will be an employee there to greet you no matter no matter what the situation. So you can then now walk or wait to be taken care of by the teller or wait for a private meeting with an advisor. Moving into my furniture and lighting selection. This branch will be furnished and lit by Blue Dot, a modern furniture design company. This company's product products complement my vision and the goal for creating a downtown loft experience. Please note the choices of the material correspond with the Bank of America brand colors. However, the choice of fabric and finishes are different shades of red and blue. I wanted to play off the red and blue but not have the red and blue very distinct to the brand itself so kind of shying away from the Bank of America red that's in the banks now. As you can see here we have the different fabrics and the paint color I use for my Papa color from Sherwin-Williams on the exterior wall. Uh, flooring which would be concrete, brick facade, and the wood elements were chosen here we have like a navy wood in one of the furniture the one of the seatings and I used wood in my bench seating in the open seating area moving into the ATMs here we have a high touch technology interfaces so on the kiosk to the left which is going to be inside of the building after you go through the vestibule of the ATMs you'll see that it's a touch screen and the kiosk you'll be able to book um, appointments and meetings with the advisors as well as reserve the reserve the rooms for non um, banking purposes for students so they can use it to lounge to hang out to do to do class stuff but you'd have to book the space the ATMs are a face recognition technology will be used, so no need for a card. You just step there. If you're a member, you there you go. You don't need your bank card. And this will have a 24 access to all UNCG students after hours. So if you're not a UNCG student, you cannot use this bank branch. So at the point of security only, UNCG students will be used to, using it after hours. And this shows the loyalty that Bank of America wants to give to students here on UNCG's campus. My open seating plan here is shown. This space allows for seating for informer teller services um, at the bar top seating area. Note adjacent to the teller station is a large display of books with um, clear signage that reads bank accounts equal books. Informing students about the incentive of being a member as well as marketing the campus branch. Student members will receive vouchers to purchase one textbook um, every year. Um, of their choice from our UNCG books, bookstore. This space will be equipped with mo movable furniture. As you can see, tucked away under the bookcase, we have stools there. And a projective system hanging from the ceiling will dub as another learning space for the campus. Um, as you can see in the picture to the right, um, someone is presenting on the projection screen and people are sitting on the movable stools so all that furniture can be moved around for seminar purposes. The private meeting rooms are shown in this slide here. Students can um, will be able to meet with in-house employees for further financial advising. The north facing wall of the room is all glass to bring in 
natural light and give a sense of openness. The space will be equipped with handheld tablets for privacy, lockable storage that will serve as a plant holder, adding a biophilic element. And hanging on the wall, there is a map of Greensboro. This is going to be reminding the students about the importance of the community. And lastly, the glass privacy sticker is a multicultural image showing representation of all students, making sure that the student feels included in the space and overall not an intimidating, intimidating environment. And the reason for the handheld device was to keep the meeting as intimidating intimate and private as possible. Because of the glass, I didn't want anyone to be able to see a big screen. The video conference room will allow for Bank of America members to video chat with financial advisors using an iPad or and or the large screen on the wall here you can see. The space is furnished with a velvet bench-like sofa offering a loungy feeling and making the atmosphere feel very relaxing. Students can use the mobile app and kiosk to reserve this space for non-bank related services. The restrooms here, looking at the overview of the space, is an ADA compliant client facing restroom. These bathrooms are available to all the members. There's a large signage on the bathroom door um, which makes it easy to find, as you can see in the right corner by um, my elevation of the east wall. And also inside the walls of the bathroom, more signage is located um, on information about mobile banking. So this is a way to grab people's attention because you might just go to the bathroom in this space and what do you want to know? Oh, look, here, mobile banking. In conclusion, um, I want to thank you for being here and listening to my presentation. You have seen clearly how Bank of America could design branches with their target clients in mind. The focus on understanding the wants and needs of the college student, of face-to-face -face interactions in person or on screen, overall allowing for an intimate banking experience. Overall, this space feels very inclusive for the average college student. It's an inviting space. It allows you to feel at ease. And thank you for listening to my presentation.